Hi everyone, it's Etienne, the community manager of Beyond the Void. I wanted to take the time to present you in video the patch 050 that just has been released. So basically, the most important changes in this patch are gameplay changes. In the previous version, we realized that pl planets would make players gain momentum too quickly if they had the dominating share of planets. It means that the larger the number of planets a player had, the larger its economic or military advantage would be and so we still want players to be able to snowball in the game but not so quickly or easily or consistently. To solve this issue we have introduced two things to the game. The most important one is that we've added planetary strategy. There are now three paths available for each planet, economic, combat and defense. So each pass changes what the planet and their rings will give you. Remember in the previous version of the game if you add an industrial ring update you will gain four harvesters for the asteroid belt and one mercenary spaceship for the lane. Now you will have the four harvesters only if you have the economic strategy selected. If you switch to the combat strategy, then you have the mercenary spaceship for the lane, but no more harvesters for the asteroid belt. So basically you have to choose between economy and military. Concerning the defensive strategy, it makes you gain bonuses over time and makes your planet defend itself better. The second thing we did is that we made warping across the map invisible. So now your enemy can't see your movement until you arrive at your destination. It's kind of technology upgrade on all other ships. Before we introduced this, it wasn't rewarding to try to attack an enemy's planet. And now we think it will be easier to come back from a disadvantaged position because we'll be able to play aggressive and that's what we want for players. We don't want to see players stay in the lane but we want to see action across the comms and planets and to reward the player who respond the most appropriately to the action around the map. In addition to these two things, we changed the bonuses for each combination of two rings. So we replaced Guardians with special abilities that cost Ambrosium. Some of the special abilities will call upon a spaceship to help your mothership and to follow him, like previous Guardians, and others will allow you to boost for instance, your health strength or shield of your mothership and will make it possible for you to decide whether you prefer to boost your mothership or boost your army and therefore there are more ways to play the game. As you may have noticed, we introduced a new user in-game interface to fit with the gameplay changes. The previous one was a bit dated and it needed to refresh, so it was the good opportunity to do so. Corentin did a great job with it, our aim was to make it prettier, clearer and more interactive. So we hope you will like it and just let us know what you think about it. Speaking of graphic changes, there are new graphic designs in the game. Max has reworked the ancient rune comps and the other two comps will be reworked in future patches. He is currently reworking the lane spaceship called Fighters, the minions in Beyond the Void, and along with developing of our next mothership and other skills for the game. In this new patch there are also many changes regarding user experience. An important thing is that we reworked the basic tutorial and it should be an improved experience for new gamers. We also released the advanced tutorial for explaining the planetary strategy. In addition we added player level to the game, so at the end of all games you will now gain experience points and gain extra battle points when you level up and also you will have titles every 10 levels. Among other things, we fix some bugs, reactivate normal games, add new soundtracks for victory and defeat, and I'm preparing for players two tournaments at the beginning of April. So that's it for Passion 050. I'm glad I presented it to you in video, but if you didn't understand everything I said because of my French accent, you can find the written patch note in the video description. I'm actually really excited to play the game with these changes with you and to chat about it on our Discord server. Follow our other social media to find information about game updates and future events such as Apple tournaments. So I think that's it and thanks for listening, have a nice day!